Good morning, folks. It's April the 2nd. And uh, back on another track of this lease that I got in this year so that I could hunt this week for a few days before we headed down to the KT team hunt. Or the way my schedule works this year and having to be in Missouri so early in April, it was uh, find somewhere we could hunt on private in Georgia or not get to hunt it at all. So did what we had to do and we got us a little peace. This morning feels like turkey season. Yesterday was a disaster, but we ended up lucking into one. So probably used all our luck up yesterday morning, but um, this is uh, we're here because I was here day before yesterday and I heard a turkey in here about 10 o'clock. Had some hens. I think it was a whole little flock of turkeys, but I heard him in here about 10 o'clock. It was super windy that day. This is a hole that we're in. Big mountain range behind us here. So I'm hoping these turkeys were down here in this hole all day yesterday dealing with those. We literally had a wind advisory, so it was uh, pushing pretty good. Um, so that's where we're going to start down here in this hole, assuming they're roosted somewhere in here, considering that I heard him day before yesterday, and it was super windy yesterday. As bad as the weather was yesterday morning, it's that equally good today. Oh, 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 oh. I am not saying there's not a turkey here. Because I know there was one here a couple days ago. I'm just saying that he should be gobbling. Because simply spring mornings don't get any prettier than what we're experiencing right now. Every bird, every crow, every owl, everything is just going off and I ain't heard one. Thought I heard one, but I don't think it was because it ain't done it again. So. I don't know if the turkey I heard in here two days ago is dead. That's what I'm gonna assume, considering it is beautiful. I'm gonna pick a road here and make some tracks, do a little walking. But I ain't got far to walk, because it ain't like this place is huge. Let's go walk to this other corner, and we'll probably be in the truck coming up with another plan. Well, it is uh, 8.15. This is almost when we got out of the truck yesterday. On the most unlikely of circumstances and killed a turkey. And today, we're getting back in the truck in much more likely circumstances and we ain't even heard a turkey. The difference a day can make. We're going to um, scoot over to another little piece. See if we hear anything there. Do a little scroll about. On the new track. I'm pretty sure there's a tame turkey. This house at the front has a tame turkey, I think. Well, I came over here cruising around the other day. I heard it. It's back down our goblin again. But it's almost one of those things you gotta flesh out to be sure. I've had some funny sounding wild turkeys before. This one just got that western turkey sound a little bit. I don't know what I would do if I yelp this turkey up. And he comes in and he looks legit. Am I gonna shoot him? If he comes in and he's white, I'm definitely not shooting him. I don't know. God 
the tank turkey. Tank turkey's probably not what you want next to your hunting property. Where I mean hours has been wasted on that filler. I'm gonna uh walk to the back of this place real quick. Shouldn't take too awful long. See if we can't turn something up. That road goes out of the back and goes up to the top and splur actually splits down to low, but splits down low. But when you go to the top it bends back to the right. It's a big private pasture over here. And that private pasture is where I saw that big flock of turkeys the other day. It was just one long beard, three hens, and eleven jakes. So with the uh, sun coming up over here is casting the shade so the shade should be on our side of the pasture with a beautiful day these turkeys should be more than willing to hop into the woods so my plan is get to the top of this hill and start trying to find them Those two hens came from way out in the middle of that pasture and drifted right up against the wood line and then walked down this way. Same place that crow's aggravating, so I just about wonder if we ain't got our strutter down there in the bottom of this pasture. That crow's were aggravating him and the hens just drifted over to him. Got a couple of woven wires coming through, so he's got his work cut out for him, but he's marching. Hmm. We're gonna cover up. Just laid eyes on him right yonder. 
still on the other side of that woven wire. Got to get him on this side of that dang fence. I don't know if he left those two hens. Those two hens were going the other way. And Joker came right in the woods like it was his dang job. <laughs> I thought we'd have never got that turkey in the woods. Thought in a million years I took you left that field and come in these woods. Unreal. <sighs> Don't ever pretend like you think you're gonna know what they're gonna do. This is the lease all the pine timber, timber company land. It borders this big old private green pasture. I walked in here two days ago and saw a bunch of turkeys out in this pasture. 
I figured they had to be roosted on us, but I probably need to be talking to y'all this way, don't I? But there's the pasture. And he's out here to it. Two hens right in it. God, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Let me go get the other camera. I don't want him to start flopping though. If he starts flopping, I'll pick him up. They got a bad habit about when you touch them, they go flopping. Well, help something else. And get this thing over here and talk to you. Should never pretend like we know what they're going to do. <laughs> that turkey crossed two woven wire fences. Unless they got a place down here on this low side to cross where they ain't got to like literally go. I don't know how he got across them. That's unreal. What a what a season in Georgia. <sighs> unreal. We came up. Oh, I love that feeling. Jeez, that feeling. Why do we get that feeling? Mm. I believe that. We got some barred center feathers there. Man, he's pretty. Gosh dang, the sun on them wing patches. That's just perfect. This cotton fit perfect. Why do we get to do the things that we do? Dang, that's perfect. Lazy boy couldn't make him any better than that. Whew. Thick pine straw. While I wish it wasn't here, because I wish there was a fire run through here keeping that stuff knocked out, but it does make for a fine cushion. Oh, but that sun's done come out with them. Found this little warm spot, so I reckon I'm gonna smoke a cigar just in case I do fall asleep. I'll have done Got to enjoy the fine taste of a nice, cheap cigar on a beautiful spring morning. So, let's get to it, say. Yes, sir. Mmm. That's a tasty one. I like him. 
Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.